Hey babes, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you all some new pieces that I picked up from Aritzia. As you all know, Aritzia is just hands down one of my all time favorite places to shop, no matter the season. Their designs always speak to me and just fits my aesthetic so perfectly. Always keeping my style current yet minimal and timeless. You really just cannot go wrong. So for this haul, I got things that I can wear over the next couple of months, but can easily transition into spring, no problem, especially if you live somewhere similar to me. So let's get into it. Let me show you everything that I got. Before we get started though, if you are new here and this is the first video of mine that you stumbled across. Hi, my name is Carissa Burnside. I post tons of hauls, vlogs, and other lifestyle content. So if you like the vibe here, definitely subscribe so you never miss out on a video. But let's go ahead and get into it. Starting with some new tops, new styles for this season, I desperately wanted some new tops. Like I feel like I have tons of sweaters, which is great, but like going out for this birthday dinner that I went to recently, I realized I don't have like a ton of current fancier tops that I could potentially wear. So these next two had that in mind. A denim bustier, are you joking, right? It comes in two colors and as you can see, I got it in black, but oh my God, just how I, wore it during the try on with some like loose baggy denim would be so cute. Obviously denim that's like a little bit tighter would be equally as cute as well, Ugh, but it's just so cute. I ended up getting this in my normal Rizzo size of a size extra extra small. It fits perfectly. It's exactly as tight as you want a bustier to fit. It hugs all of the right places without being like overly tight anywhere. So I would definitely recommend just sticking with your normal true to size size for a Rizzo when getting this. The top of this this also fits super well where I didn't feel like I needed to like pull on it a ton to keep it in its spot. These can be pretty tricky for that reason. It's made out of an organic cotton denim. And this is my first time trying like a denim bustier like this. And what I'm so happy to report on is that this denim specifically is just super soft and super comfy. It's stiff enough to like hold its shape, but not stiff enough where you just feel like too constricted, you know? It has a good balance balance of like that movability and structure. You can also see that it has this curved hemline to move around your hips and your waist. I like that it drops lower in the front and the back as well. You can see the contrast of the zipper. It has a silver zipper, but I do love that it has like this ring pull on it. So it makes it really easy to put on and take off by yourself. Going out in this right now, you can even pair like a black blazer or something over the outfit. But then when you move into spring and summer, you can just kind of wear it as is, you know? Oh, I love this. This next tank is definitely another one that you kind of need to layer with right now, but it's gonna be a good staple for the spring and the summertime. This is called the Sculpt Knit Greek Top. I am a massive fan of the Sculpt collection from Aritzia. They make so many different amazing styles. And this one is a new one, at least for me, it has like this crisp cross sort of detail in the front. The amazing thing about the Sculpt fabric is that it is thick enough and compressive enough that it's not one that I need to wear a bra with. Also with keeping that in mind, this is also a fabric and a collection that I always size up in. So this isn't a size extra small. It runs a little small, but I love this style. I think it's a great one to add it to your collection. It's very timeless. I would say that the straps on this are a tad long. I think I just would have loved a little bit more support with these being shorter so that it can be like a little bit more lifted. But otherwise, the crisscross detail still provides a lot of good coverage and the fabric underneath the crisscross doesn't like dig in awkwardly to your boob. You guys know what I'm talking about with like a weird line. And this also comes in so many other amazing colors too. Eee! The next shirt I got is this denim button up. Okay, hear me out. I definitely want to have like a Canadian tuxedo moment. I see a vision. I see it in my future. And I think that this one is such a solid option. This button up is a relaxed fit. And what I like about this denim is that it's really lightweight, soft cotton. One that is drapey, you know, and it feels like you've had this for 20 years and it's just really worn in and shaped 
perfectly. You can see it's a bit oversized, it's long, there's so many ways that you can wear this. Obviously as a Canadian tuxedo, like I was saying, of just having it full on denim on denim, either having this loose, kind of like how I had Derrick in the try on, or you can even tuck it in. But if you didn't even want that, you can have this as like a over shirt, unbuttoned, a layering piece. This does come in four colors and with this color in particular, okay, I was expecting it to look a little bit different. I'll include a picture on the screen of how it looked on the model. And this just doesn't look the same. To me, it feels like it has like these really weird worn in spots. Doesn't seem cohesive. It's weird for me in particular, at least. So as much as I love the overall style of this, I'm not obsessed with this color in particular. So I'm going to return this and exchange it for one of the other colors. And I think I wanna go like one shade lighter than this. That one looks so pretty. Or even doing like the really dark denims is dark denim. It's coming back, it's having a moment. I think that that would be really, really cute too. I also got this off the shoulder sweater thinking that this is absolutely perfect for those nights out, for date nights. Still could have like a sweater, but like a little bit sexier if you will. You have like your shoulder out, right? I really like this one because it is a lightweight, soft sweater. So it's like not too stiff. It really forms to your body nicely. The only thing that I would say about it is that the length of it is pretty long for me. I'm petite, I'm 5'1". So maybe just with my torso, it is a bit long. It tucks in beautifully. Like there's no problem with that. I think that I just like if it was like a little bit shorter So I didn't have to tuck it in so much. I got it in a size extra extra small again true to size I would stick with that especially because this knit you can see is like really really stretchy too Obviously, I got it in black, but I am curious about going back and getting it like in Aritzia's birch Which is like an off-white or like a natural color. I think that would be really pretty especially to wear in spring The last top that I got is this sweater. It is an extra fine merino wool sweater and it's so soft the finer the knit and the fabric especially when you're getting wool the softer it is like you need to look for that to make sure that it's not like gonna be itchy this is not itchy at all at all it's so nice i think what i like about this is that it's a good like mid-weight sweater it's not super lightweight it's not heavyweight either and it's just like a really flattering classic crew neck sweater this is a staple that i feel like everyone needs to have i went with the rich mocha brown color because surprisingly enough i don't have any like brown sweaters like this in my wardrobe and this color is gorgeous it's just like so rich and like a really pretty brown i went with my usual size the extra extra small i would say it fits like smaller so if you want it to be bigger if you want it to be more relaxed definitely size up from your normal size or maybe two sizes depending on the look that you're going for and also this is currently on sale i think it's like 40, 50% off. It comes in two other colors apart from the brown. So it's definitely a good time to get it. And it's one that I recommend. Okay guys, denim. We are moving on to the next section here. I love denim forum. It is an Aritzia brand of denim. And I got three new styles here to try. They just dropped like tons of new styles. One of my favorite things about this denim is that it is an affordable denim. It's $110. All of them are $110 if I remember correctly. They might have like a style or too, that's like a little bit more don't come for me all of these styles that I got they do offer it in different washes as well at least four different washes so if you didn't like these washes just know that they have darker and lighter wash options my current favorite denim is a style from Aritzia I think it's called the Farah it's the denim that I paired with the denim shirt it is so good I have that pair of jeans and three different colors so they make incredible denim anyways let me just jump into this <laughs> so starting with this style first so this is the Iggy and it is a low-rise baggy denim this is in the color whiskey a go-go which is a really pretty darker denim without being like too deep this wash in the Farah I've been wearing that one so much. So this is a really good shade, very neutral, pairs really well with every single other color. Like it would look really good with this sweater that I'm wearing right now too. Mm -hmm. But don't let the fact that this says that it's low rise scare you away because at least for me and like my frame, this definitely sits mid rise, almost high rise. 
it's kind of interesting. And it's also not super baggy on me either. And maybe that's just because of the size that I went. I went with my normal size, which is a size 23. And I would say it fits just right. Like it fits great around my butt. The waist is definitely a little bit loose. And I think that's because it's supposed to be like a low rise jean. So it's not one that's like tapering and at the waist. So I would have to get the waist taken in if I wanted to keep these. But it's interesting because like it's fitted around like the butt area, right? It's a little bit tighter. And then it is a little bit loose throughout the leg almost teetering a little bit towards like a wide leg, but I guess I just wouldn't say it's baggy per se. Like if I didn't get it hemmed, definitely it would be baggy, but I would need to hem them because I don't want my jeans dragging on the floor, you know? But they're definitely really comfortable and I like the weight of this denim. It is mostly a non-stretch denim, but I have found that it does loosen at least a little bit over time. It really conforms to your body. So just know it's not stiff, it's movable, and it's going to wear with you well over time. This inseam length is a 32 inch so you can see it's really long for this one in particular they didn't offer different inseam lengths to get it in actually all three of these didn't but sometimes they do offer different inseam lengths in their jeans which is a nice option so that you don't have to go get it hemmed separately you know I feel like I do it all the time but it would be nice to save a trip and not do it <laughs> and these next ones I got in this faded wash black shade which is really pretty it's a really similar style to the last one which is like a 90s low-rise baggy jean this one is just more more wide leg than the last one. And I suppose like a little bit more oversized as well, but they still fit pretty mid rise on me. The waist is still gaping on it. So I'd have to get this waist taken in on me as well. But this one reminds me of the Goldie baggy jean, which is another favorite style of mine at the moment. This one also didn't come in different inseam options. It's a 32 inch inseam. So I'm gonna have to go get these hemmed up, but I love these. These are a keeper. I think that this is like my favorite pair out of all three of them. Them. not to like spoil it before I get to the last one. I just feel so comfortable in these and I also just feel really confident. I see so many ways that I can style these. For me personally, I love to wear baggy denim like this with any form of heel. So you can wear these with booties, obviously with traditional heels, but I also love to wear them with kitten heels as well. And especially any sort of booty heel that has a pointed toe on it. If you're petite like me, having the baggy denim and having the pointed toe, it just adds like this length to it and sophistication to it as well that pairs so nicely with one another. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm actually thinking about going back and trying to get this in another color. So for the last style, if that baggy trend is just like not your vibe, go for these ones. Cause I feel like this could get you close to that look, but still keeping it very classic and also very timeless. You can wear these for so many years to come. It'll keep you current. So these are the Marlo high rise baggy jean, but don't let bag in the title again, scary too much. Cause you can see that it's not too baggy at all. If anything, these are like a dad jean and are very similar to the a Goldie 90s pinch waist denim, which is one of my favorite denims as well. So it sits high rise, it's fitted around the waist, the butts, the hips, but then it just has like more of a relaxed straight leg throughout. So it's not clinging too much, it provides a good amount of looseness and relaxation throughout the leg. It's very nice. This one is two inches shorter than the other ones. It comes in a 30 inch inseam. It's still like slightly long for me, so I'd still probably get it hemmed up personally. But size wise, I did go with my normal size in these as well, the 23. And my recommendation for the size is that I did think that these fit pretty tight. It was hard to get them on, but once they're on, they felt totally fine and comfortable. So I would be interested in trying a size 24 just to see how it compares. But I might also recommend that you guys size up in these, especially if you are like in between sizes. All right, my love, sadly, that's it. We've reached the end. That is all of the pieces that I got to share with you. But don't fret, I absolutely will be doing another Ritzia haul pretty soon, especially like when they start to launch all of like their spring collections, but I just feel it's coming so soon. So be on the lookout because that will be coming. But as far as this video is concerned, of course, everything that I chatted about will all be listed and linked down below for you. I'll also make sure that I'm linking what I am currently wearing for you too. But I love you guys. I love you guys so very much. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this and I'll just see you guys in a couple of days in my next video. Bye. Mwah.